Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. The lights, 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 camera, action. I am just getting my van ready because I'm heading up to my friend Gordon's. Um, he lives up North Manchester end. Let me just make sure my mic is working because we don't want no more mic issues. Oh, what does that setting mean? Oh God, I, you better be working. Yeah, so I thought I would get ready, get this van done. And whilst I'm getting the van done, I would really like to tell you all about Camper Van Camp Out because ticket sales end next week. The booking deadline is on Wednesday the 17th of April at 2pm. Um, so if I were you, I'd go and grab your tickets. It is an incredible event. I went to I went to it last year, which was, I think was their first one. I believe it's ran by Warners. Um, and it was brilliant. I It was one of the highlights of my year. I really, really enjoyed it. And I'm so lucky and so grateful to have been invited back again this year. Oh, well, see? That's how bad it is. I've still got all of my washing up that I haven't done. It's been... <laughs> it's been weeks. So yes, the camper van camp out is in the south of England showground. The south of England showground and it is from the 3rd to the 5th of May. Oh, I can't wait. Uh, tickets are £150 and for that you actually get so much. Bear with me, right? Just bear with me a minute. I'm just sort my waters out. I use these sterilisation, sterilisation, Ster <laughs> sterilising tablets, um, Milton ones, you know, what you do for babies. And I put that in my water tank every time I come away from a trip or before I go on a trip. Can you see me here? <laughs> I just looked at myself in the in the screen. At Camp Van Camp Out there are 21 guest talks. 21 talks. Um, and I believe they are run by 17 guest speakers. Guest speakers will include people like um, Tash, Life Beyond Bricks, um, Carl from Built Not Bought Campers, he will be there, he's doing a talk as well. And I believe he's running a workshop, um, or is it a Q&A? Something like like one-to-one, -one. <laughs> something like that. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that because I love Carl to pieces. Carl runs his own event. Um, which I will put up some more details of soon. I just need to grab some footage together. This bag doesn't belong here. Why are you here? Excuse me, mate. Now your place. Uh, last year there was loads of music, which was, that's my thing. I absolutely love my music. I love loud music. I love a variety of different types of music. However, I am so happy to hear that the headliner for Camper Van Camp Out this year is Chris Moyles. Not only is it just Chris Moyles, but it's his 90s roadshow hangover. 90s hangover roadshow, which is, which is me. <laughs> so I'm really, really looking forward to that. Last year, they also had a silent disco. I really enjoyed that because they had three channels and on one of the channels was drum and bass. At a lot of these events, I've only, I've only been to one event um, last year which was um, Lindsay's Conscious Heart Warriors and that was very you kind of got like illegal rave vibes um, obviously it wasn't illegal perfectly legal um, but it was those kind of vibes with that drum and bass reggae all sorts and brilliant it's the only event I've ever been to that actually provided that that type of music so when camper van campo had the channel for drum and bass well i was well charged talking about andy and Lindsay, um Lindsay, conscious heart warriors she is going to be hosting the wellness sanctuary so Lindsay offer things a lot of um like breath work when i did breath work last year at camper van campo with my first experience of breath work and i was just coming out of a um a breakup uh, with my ex-partner and I, it was my first sort of, it was the beginning of my healing journey. I have spent my entire adult years with, uh, with a partner, living with a partner, and they weren't healthy relationships. And so um, this is my, it was like my first sort of taste of freedom, my first taste of independence. I'd never been independent before. I'd always, you know, been looked after. And it reminded me so much of when I was young, when I was a teenager, before I got into uh, th these adult relationships, um, when I was wild and free and um, it all just came straight back. And so I went to uh, Camper Van Camp out and did some breath work with Lindsay and fuck, I sobbed. I cried like a baby. I felt so vulnerable 
I also felt so empowered at the same time. It was beautiful, it was magic, um, and I'll, I'll, I will forever be grateful to Lindsay for supporting me through that, um, and Jessica, uh, who also, who, who runs it with her. They were, they were great support during during my time of uh, doing breath work with them and last but not least it is also incredibly family friendly so there will be things like arts and crafts and um, there'll be beach games there's, there's all sorts going on on for the young people um I, I think that i don't think you'll be disappointed i there is something there for everyone and it will keep you busy all day every day so i'm going to be there um come and have a little look around my van come around come say hi um obviously my lovely alice in wonderland van will be on display for you to come and see I'll be bringing Mevy along with me so we're gonna have a an adults trip in my van which I'm really looking forward to I'm going to pop in some clips of last year last year last year was hilarious Adam and Mevy and I um, we ended up having a bit of a late night in Adam's van and he held us hostage uh, he did he held he held us hostage force fed us bread threw cheddars mini cheddars at us right and then I wanted to leave and go for a wee and he was like, nah, you can go for a wee in the corner of the van. Pfft. Right, wait, hold on a minute. Right, Adam's just come back from somewhere with, you know, snow, the Arctic or wherever it is. And obviously, because Alex is out there at the moment, um, Alex Freed, he met up with Alex. Alex gets invited into his van and gets artisan fucking pizza. Would you believe it? The cheek, the audacity, Adam. Adam, I expect better treatment this year at Camper Van Camp Out, actually. Better treatment, yes. Anyway, I'm gonna go. I will see you at Camper Van Camp Out. I hope you enjoy the clips that I'm about to include. And yeah, okay, bye. Oh, you've given the game away. <laughs> if I don't win the bed contest, I'm not gonna be happy. <laughs> Apparently it is light grey, but he said it was teal as well. I don't know. That's teal, that's not like that's not grey. Oh, I don't mind what it is. I have a van lifer. <laughs> of course it works. That's your right side, that's her left side. It's not gonna know that it's a different garment. Take... Yeah, look, you're all bent and thin and long and I'm more girthy. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out that this isn't part of the show. This is actually a dog show, completely separate to the camper van camp out event. And so I was, I was saying to this lady, she was asking about the robes, and she said to me, I said, oh, it's great around the campfire. She goes, well, I don't have a campfire. And makes sense, yeah, because she's here for the dog show. She's not a camper. So, yeah, we've just strolled in and walk in, fuck shit up, walk out. Nobody here is a YouTuber has anything to do with it. Oh, Go on. Over here. You have them. Hang on, what's Kirsty getting on these oh, options? Right. Three fucking slices <laughs> of bread. <laughs> you can have them too. Do you happen to like, oh, I'm the best host, do you happen to like <laughs> many cheddars? Because if you don't, just say. Why them. am I covered in so many crumbs? <laughs> it doesn't matter. I thought this was fresh bread. <laughs> My floor is only temporary, so you can have as many crumbs as you want. Okay, and the, since I'm a good host, oh. I, I'd like to show the appreciation. If you could possibly squash them all into one and eat them at once, that would help me out. Just in just what way? Because I feel like I'm a good host. <laughs> I'm a really bad host. Hang on, one. <laughs> Thank you, baked potato. And if you want to have a better day, you must listen to what the baked potatoes say.